This is a Asus L410 E410 video. Um, I'm making this one as an update to my last video. Um, I've upgraded my hard drive once again. I went from 250 gigabytes to uh, now you see I have 500 gigabytes roughly. I got a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, just a little space it uses. That's my other hard drive. Um, now I don't suggest erasing that. Um, just because it voids your warranty and you can go back to it and recover it and clone again. That's what I ended up having to do because I had a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So I ended up uh, taking that out. It wouldn't boot anymore. Um, so I tried cloning to the 500 gig and it didn't clone so I had to use a recovery drive and just recover my computer entirely. So I used the recovery drive and recovered my computer entirely and then I went ahead and downloaded Macrium Reflect once again and I ran the program and um, I've showed you before, um, I'll show again just because people don't see all the videos. You would take basically whenever you click clone disk, you want to make an image and stuff to an external device to it and stuff. Just make your backups of your drive um, just in case anything ever happens. But uh, you basically click clone disk, um, you can image also. But I cloned, and when you clone, you drag it one by one, one to one, two to two, three to three. When you get to 3, you click on 3 and you select properties, which will be down here whenever you actually clone. And you can increase your hard drive size like I did up here to um, what I did. And you just want to leave enough room left over for the 656 megabytes or whatever yours may be. Um, there's plenty of videos on Macram Reflect and how to use it, so I don't have to go in too deep about this. Uh, they're pretty short, pretty quick videos. Uh, I've got everything up and running great though. Um, I, uh, I ran Crystal Disk Mark, and I'm getting uh, pretty impressive speeds. Um, you'll see here that I'll get around 1900 read and around, I believe, 1900 write also. That's just a tad slower than the first time, it was 18 something. But my original hard drive only ran at 2 to 300. So, I mean, this is five, six times faster than the hard drive that they gave you. And sorry that you have to sit through this to see the actual speeds that I'm getting from just a SanDisk uh, SSD. Um, that's what I've used on mine is a uh, SanDisk. Uh, let's see. I used a uh, SanDisk Ultra M.2 NVMe 3D SSD, 500 gigabytes, uh, can get 2400 read, 1750 write. Um, I did have a 250 gigabyte one in there, 2400 read, 950 write. Um, the 500 gigabyte one has 300 terabyte writes to it. This one has 150 terabyte writes to it, so you can get double the life and everything out of the 500 gig one. Um, so here's some speeds I'm getting right now. But I'm also downloading um, a few things, so these are speeds while I'm running apps and downloading a few things. So they were, uh, it was uh, about. 16 or 15 for the read speed earlier. But yeah, as you see there, I'm getting pretty decent speed still. I mean, the original hard drive only gets, uh, I won't run you through it, but it only gets uh, around 2 to 300 
for the speeds, megabits per second, <clears throat> which isn't uh, too great. Um, you know, as you see, I've got my apps downloaded and everything else. This is really taking me no time to set up. Um, there's videos on how to install the SSD. Um, it's very simple. You just unscrew the back of your laptop. Just be careful unscrewing it. And keep your screws in order, front with front, back with back, middle with middle. Um, you want to do that, and you don't want to over tighten them when you put the case back on. And whenever you insert the actual drive, you'll want to insert it at a 45 degree angle um, to insert the actual drive. Um, here's the 250 gigabyte drive here. And this is a 250 so basically you would go at a 45 degree angle into the keyholes and then it lays flat and as you see in the back there's a little area for a mounting screw um, I got M.2 2280 mounting screws for ASUS computers ASUS computers um, I found it on Amazon came with a little screwdriver and everything um, so that was not a bad deal um, I just wanted to say make sure you make your recovery drive because um, you'll need basically a fresh hard drive to clone from um, if it's your first clone I'd say you're probably going to be alright um, just make sure you have what you want in there um, and other than that everything is working great um, there is one more thing you need to do which is change your pen um, just type in pen like that you go into your pen settings and just change your password you know, click change and just quickly change your pen or password and you can change it right back um, and this just um, pretty much makes Windows recognize you, um, gives it a security certificate, something like that. Uh, but it's something that you have to do for it to fully work. Um, so, yeah, that's a few things I just wanted to run over about the ASUS L410, E410 series. And I call it that because I got an L410, but it actually says E410, even on the inside of my computer it says E410, but if I type in msinfo32, there it is, you'll see it says E410. So that's why I call it the L410 and E410 is because, uh, yeah, there's not really a discrepancy in it just besides how they price them and stuff. It's kind of funny because to get uh, one of these with a 500 gigabyte SSD, 512 gigabyte SSD that's running, it's like $700. And uh, yeah, I managed to do this for uh, pretty cheap. So. I would say it's a good option. Um, just wanted to make an update to the video though. I won't keep you any longer than I have to. I'm no pro at this, so sorry for any uh, video flaws. Uh, I don't have great cameras or anything. But thank you for watching. Um, if you like, please give a like. Um, and I will show more oh um also in bios you have to click f2 um after you install your drive and you get it cloned and everything um you'll want to go into bios and you click press f2 as soon as you start the computer and you go into bios and you just switch your boot priority and put your um your m.2 mvme drive um, to the top of the boot priority and make that the new boot priority so it boots off of that and not the old hard drive. Um, and that's what I've got for you now.